everybody. Thank you for visiting. Um, welcome back to Everything Kylie. Um, so today I want to do a different kind of video. So this is not about lashes or fashion or hair. We know I'm obsessed, but it's something a little different. So today is May 1st, 2018. And I have just been reminded over and over and over and a lot lately because you know we're coming into the fifth month here of our New Year's resolutions and our goals and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to touch base and just send a message of encouragement and love um, for everybody on a journey and pretty much everybody's always on a journey. <laughs> Let's talk about this. All right. So we are in May and I want to talk about goals. So we've set our New Year's resolution goals or whatever goals if you didn't do those, most of us do though. One continuing theme that I'm seeing is that as we're approaching semi middle of the year, first quarter's over, is that everybody's goals are either some kind of fallen off and some are a little overwhelmed um, or not maybe on the timeline that they wanted it to be and really hoped and then expected it would be so so here's a message for everybody who's in any of those categories I encourage you to just keep going Okay, so think about this. Let's say that you are on the fitness wagon of I'm going to get so healthy and fit this year. And let's say that you sort of dipped out of it for a second and you're feeling a certain way about it. Maybe you're feeling bad about it because you feel disappointed that you didn't keep it up or whatever else. I just want to tell you congratulations on doing such a good job so far. And maybe you did stop or slow down, but the thing is, is you can always keep going. And the biggest part is that I want you to think about how much you learned. And ask yourself, what can I do better now that I know so much? For me, um, I mean, I look at these girls on you know, Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and even my trainer, they blow me away with how amazing they are at balancing their life and fitness goals and their eating healthy and, and I'm so inspired by them. And when I started my journey back in November, I mean, it was so shockingly different that um, I had a really tough time balancing things. So I did, I went through that dip, you know, and then I was so fortunate to have family come out and visit. I was so excited about it and it kind of took a back burner for a couple weeks and I was feeling really down. Like, I can't believe I took so much time off. I'm, I'm feeling like, you know, not good about myself and that kind of thing. And a good reminder is just, it's okay. And now I know so much more about it. I have a plan for the eating to make it way easier. I have a plan for fitness and scheduled it in better. And now I'm juggling so many things. I have so many goals and they're just stacking up and everything is starting to happen. From this point on, I have so much going on. You would think I'd throw one of them out the window, but really, no way. I just learned more about how to manage it. <laughs> and um, and I want anybody out there who is feeling a little discouraged about whatever it is that's not happening for them when they wanted it to or they couldn't figure this out or whatever it is, even if you feel like you failed completely, A, good job for going out there and doing it. I'd rather everybody fail miserably than not do it at all. So I think it's great that you're out there doing stuff. Um, but just, it's okay. This is the journey of it all, okay? So it really brings me into the second part of this. And the second part of this is I want to send the message out there to anybody who will listen is just to keep pushing past those fears. 
so I have been faced with this so much this year. Um, going to the gym was fearful. I wasn't gonna die, but I felt like I was. And I got in there and I did it and, and I didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and it's sometimes those fears seem so big, but they're really not. Um, I don't know why, but I was so scared to get out there and, and do volunteer work. I get really shy when I have to go meet new people, and I get scared if they're not going to accept me. Uh, maybe I'm too excited about things, or I'm, I don't know what, you know, I don't know, whatever it is. I just, I get nervous. And... I have to keep reminding myself constantly, just do it anyway. So I hope that anybody having any of those type of fears, just hear me when I say, go for it. After you do it, it's not as scary and you feel so confident and all those scary things seem less scary afterward. And it's just a part of that growth. Like, I know I've talked about it before. Like, get out of your comfort zone. That's part of it. I mean, that is it. So, just keep going in your journey. You can do this. Either keep kicking butt in the gym or go back to it. Or keep kicking butt on your goals for your success or your family or whatever it is. And just know that this journey is going to take you through all those waves. But you can do it. Keep going. Love you all and good luck with everything. Okay, bye.